Okay, so when was the last time that you woke up naked, walked out of your house, and went to work? <laughs> because our next guest does this every single day. Yep. Here to tell us all about the benefits of living life in the nude is longtime naturist and owner of Bear Oaks Family Naturist Park, Stefan Dishen. Thank you. Okay, Stefan, well, I think we have so many questions here. Yeah. Delighted to have you here, but let's strip down to the basics. <laughs> What's the difference between naturism and nudism? Oh, well, yeah. that's a good question. I, it really depends where you are. In Europe, people prefer naturist. In North America, nudist traditionally has become more common. But I prefer naturist because it's not about being nude. Like, nudity is not the objective. It's the tool that we use to become comfortable with who we are, accept ourselves and our body, and show respect for others. So naturist meaning we live in our natural state. Okay. okay. Right? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, so take us back to when you first discovered naturism and, you know, what went into this decision to start practicing it. Right, right. Well, it goes back uh, almost as far as when you were talking with Nelly before. Like, when I was a teenager... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I, I, we, we used to go to cottages and go camping. And like a lot of Canadians, we'd go skinny dipping at night. And I really liked it. Like, it was just freeing and felt great. Okay. And so uh, my friends started teasing me that I was a nudist because I was always instigating it. So. <laughs> so at one point, I guess I went, maybe I am. And I started looking into it. And apparently, I can't just try something. I have to get really into it. <laughs> well, this is, this is very interesting because one of uh, life's great delights for me is swimming uh, without clothes on. Yeah, I exactly. absolutely love it. But you also describe a scale of naturism, like sort of between recreational and ethical. So can you explain that scale? I'm guessing yeah. I'm recreational. Well, most people, that's where they start, and, yeah. and that's oh. okay. It's, 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 it, it, it's trying to explain uh, to, to people who say, well, how is that a naturist? How are they a nudist? What's the mm -hmm. difference? It, it's not the word. It's an attitude. And most people start, yeah, it's fun. It feels great, right? It feels awesome. <sighs> and so me, that's, how, that's how I discovered it. But then you realize there's other benefits. There's, there's social, there's emotional benefits as you become comfortable who you are, as you start to realize that there's there's no such thing as a perfect body. There's just variety. Mm -hmm. And so as you develop and, and, and you learn, and not everybody does. Some people just stay at the, just have fun, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But when you become what I call an ethical naturist, uh, that's when you start to see it as a movement and an ideology. And it's a lot more of a, uh, uh, a philosophy then. And you are a naturist even when you're dressed. And, oh, oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. And I assume once you reach that ethical naturism sort of point, the sort of desire or urge to look down <laughs> all the time, does that sort of disappear? Because that's my, like, immediately, yeah. like, like, I don't care, it's just curiosity. That's a good question, sorry. It's I curiosity. Think that's what a lot of people yeah. are I thinking. See. And it's okay. It's okay to look. Yeah, it, like, it really is okay. Like, we look at each other all the time. Like, yeah. if, if you walked around the office without your shoes on, people would notice you're barefoot because yeah. we check each other out. I always say it's okay to look, it's not okay to stare. And so... Difference. Difference, yeah. yeah. And, hey. yeah, but, you know, yes, the curiosity, all oh, those bits you hardly ever see, you get used to that very quickly. But what Love do you mean that. that you're a naturist? Sorry, I just had to ask. No, no, please. Yeah. I think you're, yes. you're a naturist still with your clothes on. What does that ex explain that? Well, that means when you walk around, you, you look at the world critically in a different way. You see things and you say, oh, yeah, this is all about they're uncomfortable with themselves. Or that's really trying to shame people in, in terms of what they look like in their bodies. Or that's, you know, you see, you see nudity all the time. It's everywhere, right? But it's always tied with sexuality. And as a naturist, you go, what happens to just being? You know, right. Being who yeah. you are. Yeah. Okay, so as we mentioned, you own and operate Bear Oaks, yes, which yes. is a year-round family naturist park. Absolutely, yes. Where clothes are only worn for protection, like shoes, yeah. for example. Yeah. What's it like? I mean, you know, convince me to come and hang out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so... Are, most people are aware of how tiring it is to always be looked at as an object. And the, the level of objectification, hypersexuality out there is incredible. And so the, the ability to go to a place where you can truly just literally strip it off and people look at you as you, no longer about your brands or what you're wearing or how dressed up. You know, when you're wearing jeans and a T-shirt, you feel different than when you're wearing a nice mm -hmm. dress. Yet you're the same person. Well, at Baroques, you're the true authentic self. And that's what naturism is about. You might be converting a lot of people, Stefan. That's my job. All right. So enlightening to have you here. Thank you so much for bringing all of us here. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.